Hi, I hope you like my recipe for my garlic quinoa mushrooms. It is quite high in garlic with four whole cloves of garlic, so it's got quite a strong taste to it. But at the end of the day, it is garlic mushrooms. But if you do want a milder taste, just reduce the amount of garlic in it. This is quinoa based, and I love that because it contains all the essential amino acids and it's high in protein, so it makes it quite a filling meal. I'm not sure if I'm going to list this as a side or a main on the site. I tend to have it as a main because I don't really do sides, but it would be great as a side dish, just one or two. One tip for this is to always blend your quinoa until it's totally broken up and you'll be able to hear this in the blender as the sound changes a bit. You don't need a too powerful blender to do it. I can do it just in a 600 watt bullet type blender, but you do want to make sure all the quinoa is ground up, otherwise you'll be left with little hard bits when you bake it and these aren't great to eat. Quinoa is great baked because it gets quite a fluffy centre, but the top gets quite crispy. I'm not using any leavenings in this like baking powder, as I found it didn't really make too much difference. It's still got a bit of rise of this, where, well about as much of the rise as you would expect from a gluten free recipe without anything added. And the rise I'm more than happy with, as you can see it's puffed up a bit. I'm sprouting the quinoa for this so it means it's easy to digest. All this means is you soak it for at least an hour or eight hours overnight and it starts to open up a bit. That means that when it's blended and baked, it cooks perfectly. It also, according to some people, means it's suitable for paleo diets. It's sprouted and this reduces some of the anti-nutrients, apparently. As always, I've kept this recipe quite basic just so that people adjust it how they like it. I like it with a slice of cashew cheese on top, my smoked cashew cheese or something like that. But for this, I'm just doing a bit of pasta on top. Although any herbs work quite well for this, I just find it's always nice to have a bit of green in a dish. Let me know what you think of this recipe and like and subscribe for more like this.